What's happening guys? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and in today's lesson, we're going to be taking a look at Windows Live Family Safety, and I'm going to show you how to set up web filtering. So let's check it out. Web filtering inside of Windows Live Family Safety is a pretty basic feature. Once you log in to manage the account, you'll just simply see it at the top under web filtering. You'll want to click on the link, and then make sure you have turn web filtering on here at the top. Otherwise, when you turn it off, you still get reports, but the account will be allowed to go to any website. And permissions on this list start at the very top with only websites you personally input to allow versus almost every website that warns on websites that are adult material. Another thing in here is allow kids to download files online. I suggest if you have your account set to child friendly, definitely make sure this is not checked because it's not really a feature you'd want a child to have just be able to download anything offline. Then once you have your settings selected, just make sure you hit save. And again, whenever you have the allow list only, you'll have to swap over to the filtering list and select certain websites to allow. Let's say for instance, you only want the other account to go to maybe Cartoon Network. Maybe you'd like the account to only go to Cartoon Network. Then you would select allow only list, then just simply add it to the web filtering list. Also, before you leave, make sure you hit save. And there you go, it's that simple and easy to set up web filtering inside of Windows Live Family Safety. Now as we go farther, I'll be digging deeper into Windows Live Family Safety and showing you all the features it has. So make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And like always, thanks for watching.